Now, yesterday, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ closed the day or finished the day trading down over 1%, which, of course, or with the Dow closing the day, just down over 0.7%, which is something that, of of course, is making the or made some of the retail investors to uh, sort of like panic. And these, ladies and gents, came in after uh, the giant retailer Walmart came in and indicated that they could see their profits dropping for the year by between 11 to 13 percent. And this was worse than what they had initially predicted of saying that they would see their profits declining by 1 percent. Now, this is one of the things that, ladies and gents, resulted in the market to end the day on a red. So these, ladies and gents, is making some of the retail investors to panic because uh, if a giant retailer like Walmart is indicating that their profits could go down, which, by the way, they said that this is due or mainly due to uh, high inflation, it just simply means that we might see this also going to other big companies in the u.s which ladies and gents is the one that is making some of the investors or retail investors to panic due to this but of course before we dig deep into this video you already know that this video is just an entertainment video and you should not take it as a professional financial advice video now if you want or seek professional financial advice you already know what to do by now and that is you need to go and consult the professionals now if you enjoy this content or the kind of a content that i'm giving you about why we saw the market dropping or finishing the day on a red consider hitting that like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop uh, such content on this channel because on this channel we'll talk everything that relates to the stock market so another thing that of course is making the markets to react uh, in a bad way it's obviously you know that this week we saw or uh, Microsoft coming with uh, to report their earnings. We saw, uh, of course, Alphabet also reporting their earnings. And ladies and gents, both the earnings of these two companies, uh, they managed not to meet, of course, what analysts expected. They managed not to beat the EPS on the total revenue, which analysts had expected them to report for this uh, current quarter or for the quarter, which ended in June of 2022. Make big companies missing earnings just uh, definitely means that obviously it means that the whole or most of the companies obviously might not meet analyst expectations in terms of the revenues or total revenues they generate and of course the earnings per share which obviously just shows us that inflation ladies and gents it is making of course the consumers to pull up or pull out on some of the things the services some of the products that they would want to go buy or that they would want to go and probably subscribe trying to of course advance their lives due to this high inflation because the prices of the products that we use on a day-to-day -day, the prices of some of the services that we use on a day-to-day -day keeps on rising which is the very same thing that is making now the consumers not to afford some of the services to afford some of the day-to-day -day pro products uh, which they use which is why we are going to see or we are seeing companies or big companies like of course walmart big companies like of course uh, maybe google and uh, microsoft reporting or not meeting analyst expectations in terms of the total revenue they generate this high inflation ladies and gents is a problem and it's not a problem that is only impacting of course the us but we are seeing this uh, problem of high inflation impacting most of the countries worldwide now of course like i said this is or the fact that we received that article by walmart to say that their profits or they are now anticipating their profits to drop by around 11 to 13 percent is the one that is making retail investors investors to panic or uh, to start stressing a bit to say that it means that most companies won't be able to do well in terms of the revenues and the earnings per share they report on the upcoming earnings which is why ladies and gents we saw or it resulted in the markets to finish the day or close the day 
on a red but again as i always say this low trading prices this sharp force that we see time and again in the markets offers good opportunities to retail investors to load the boat on some of those top quality stocks some of those etfs that they've been wanting to buy and it has been up i mean if you check of course an etf my favorite etf which is the vanguard s&p 500 with a ticker symbol voo it is uh, continuing or oh, we are seeing it dropping or trading way below its 52 week high which is something that has to definitely motivate a retail investor like you and me to probably consider loading the boat on that kind of an etf because that's ETF, ladies and gents, over the years it has been uh, doing quite well, which is why it's a good opportunity for you to probably load the boat on such ETFs or such indices. Because, ladies and gents, the SP 500, you know that it tracks the top 500 companies in the US, and like the famous Warren Buffett say, it's like you are buying the entire US economy. So, that is a good way, or investing in an index like the SP 500 is a good way to well diversify your portfolio as one way or the other we know that of course these of course challenges the struggles that we are witnessing which are the ones that are dragging the u.s economy down or dragging or making investors to be reluctant when it comes to investing or putting their money in the market it will pass away because we have seen this or oh, this is not the first time we're seeing uh, such things happening we have seen uh, things happening in the past we have seen of course uh, the s p 500 index crashing and we've also seen it rising and hitting new highs which is the exact same thing that we are going to continue seeing and uh, which is why i'm saying now it's a good opportunity for you to probably go in the markets and load the boat because one way or the other the markets will recover and those that are loading the boat increasing their holdings and some of their favorite stocks some of the favorite uh, uh, indices they are definitely going to reap the good rewards of the massive returns that they will be sitting and laughing at in the next two to three years otherwise with all that guys i just thought i should just give you this quick update as to why is it that we saw of course the markets finishing the day yesterday on a red otherwise if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button co comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notification from youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise like i said me personally this sharp force i continue doing the dollar cost averaging i continue of course uh, loading the boat on some of my favorite stocks some of my favorite etfs because i believe that one way or the other in the next few years i'll be laughing at my portfolio looking at the kind of returns that i've generated of course from these low trading prices otherwise with all that guys like i said if you enjoyed this video consider hitting that like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and god bless you all